Hello everyone, this is Reza Rad from Radicad. In this video, I'm going to talk about top n function, which is a way to get the top items in a list or bottom items in a list based on an expression. Let's see how it works. The top n function is a function that you can use to get the top number of items from a list. This is how it works. You'll specify uh, the number of items you want in the output, like top 10, top 2, top 5. Then the table input is um, the table that you want these items to be selected from. Order by expression is based on what expression you want to select that from table. Otherwise, it would be just based on the original uh, order, whatever it is. And the order is ascending or descending based on uh, what you want to choose it. The default is descending, which means the top items. If you change it to ascending, it would be um, bottom items. Uh, so to give you a very simple example, here I have the top uh, 10, so my n number is 10, from the product table, the table is the product table, and I want all of those based on the, some of their sales amount. So uh, what happens is that for every product, there, some of the sales is calculated, and then as a result, I'll see these are products with the top uh, with the top sales. Uh, the table output is exactly similar to product table with all the columns of product table. It would not have sales in it because I haven't added that into that column. Now this table can be also a virtual table. Here, for example, I have another example that instead of returning everything from product, I'm saying that give me the top two colors. I want to see what colors people purchase most. Uh, so what I have done is I've created a subtable. So I said top two, but this is a subtable. Um, values give me only unique list of product colors. And from that unique list, I calculate some of sales again, and I pick the top two. So that is how top M works, very simple. However, in this example, there is no easy way to test it. That is, are these really the top two or not? You can use a visualization to check that, or alternatively, you can use another function to also bring the sales beside it. Uh, for example, here I can uh, use something like this. Uh, that gives me the top four items. Uh, but this time what I have done is that I said use the summarize, which is kind of like grouping uh, the product table by, by the color and create a new column called sales, which is sum of sales amount. So this is a sub table. Actually, this is a virtual table. This table will have two columns, color and the sales amount. And then from that table, I picked the four uh, top sales. And these are the four. If I want to change it to the bottom list, I can just change the order to ascending and it would be uh, the bottom list. Blank is also considered here as a bottom or alternatively, you can change your expression to do something about the blank. Uh, so that is how it works uh, and how you can get the bottom list. There is no function called bottom n. You can use top n with ascending order. That would be bottom n. There is a important thing to know about top n is that sometimes top n doesn't return exactly the same number of items you want. For example, here I said, give me the top 10 from this table, and this table is actually uh, all customers and the order quantity of each customer. And I said top 10 of that, but the output is 11 records. If you count it, it is 11 records. The reason is that there are uh, values here that are exactly the same. In this case, it is 57. There is a tie. If there's a tie, this and that type fits into the top number of items we said, then it would show all of those items. So uh, that top 10 might not be always top 10. It might be 11, it might be 12, it might be 13. It, it really depends on how many ties you have. That is something you need to consider. If you don't want this to happen, either change your expression so that it doesn't end up with a tie, it brings something else into that, or if you want the tie, if you want the top, uh, 
items even if there's a tie then this is the result you want anyway now top n can be used for these types of calculation in a table uh, calculated table all of these examples you have seen are calculated table but the main benefit of top n is when it is used inside a measure because when you use it inside a measure the calculation can be done dynamically uh, for example the slicer selection would impact the result of your top n as an example what i have done here is i've created a measure that this measure is giving me the average sales of the top colors let's say each color uh, of product have a sales revenue and i want uh, the average sales of the top three colors um, because I want to use that as a target comparing with others, right? And that happens a lot. You might want to say, I want the sales, sum of sales of top five customers or, or anything like that. That is how it works. You can create a measure for that because if you create a measure, then all your slicers would also be used in that result set. What I said in that measure is that first I created a virtual table of all colors and added the sales to that that this virtual table used as an input for top n in top n i'm saying that from that virtual table give me the top three items and then i use that that goes to a variable then i use that inside an average x to calculate the average of those items based on their sales this would return one value which would be the average of the top group but this average can change based on the selection of uh, filters, or slicers, anything. This line that you see here is showing that average. I could have enabled the data label to show it, but mm, it is kind of uh, exploratory enough. Some products have more than that sales, some less than that. Then you see this conditional formatting. And for the conditional formatting, I have another uh, another measure here which i have actually explained in another video and blog article how to do conditional formatting using dax here what i've done is actually i compared that target with the sales of every color and depends on uh, how much it is like if it is more than that if it is less than that but not that much less on up to 70 percent or uh, more than like 45 percent but less than 70 percent depends on these i specified colors you can go and download these codes from the link down in the description and get the result as a result this altogether gives me the ability to analyze all of these on a dynamic way you see all of these conditional formatting, the target, all of these are changing as I change these. So that is normally uh, a good way of using top N if you want a dynamic calculation, expression, reporting based on the top items or bottom items in a list. I hope you like this video. If you uh, are interested in videos like this, uh, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI. Thank you.